Andrush has created multiple extremely useful GNS3 appliances and once again he's created a really useful appliance. This time he's created an FR routing or free range routing protocol GNS3 appliance. So what is FR routing? FR routing is an IP routing protocol suite for Linux and Unix platforms which includes path daemons for BGP, ISIS, LDP, OSPF, PIM, RIP and others. This essentially allows you to run BGP, OSPF and other routing protocols on Linux PCs but more importantly on white box switches from companies such as Cumulus Networks. This therefore allows you to run routing protocols easily on open networking platforms. One of the major advantages of FR routing is it uses a command line interface or CLI that's very familiar to Cisco network engineers. This makes it really easy for Cisco network engineers to move from a proprietary operating system to an open networking platform. This is an open source project that was forked from Quagga, or as they say in South Africa, Quagga. So FR routing or FRR comes originally from Quagga and includes the fundamentals that made Quagga so popular, but in addition includes many enhancements. You can read more about FR routing or FRR on the Cumulus website or on GitHub or have a look at the frrouting.org user guide which contains a lot of useful information. In this video I'm going to show you how to get FR routing integrated with Cisco routers in a GNS3 topology. If you want to add an FR routing appliance to your GNS3 topologies, have a look under all devices, available appliances and search for FRR. It's not shown at the moment in my GNS3 installation because it hasn't been released yet, but it should be available when you watch this video. If it's not, go to gns3.com, go to the marketplace, select appliances and search for FRR. Click on the FRR appliance and click download to download it to your computer. So if it does display as an available appliance, you can simply drag it to your workspace. But if it doesn't, go to file, import appliance, select the downloaded appliance and click open. The add appliance wizard is displayed and a summary of the appliance is shown here. Please note that this is an unofficial virtual machine of FRR. It was created once again by Andrush, so thanks to him for putting the hard work in to create this. This platform is based on Ubuntu, but has FRR pre-installed, and I'll show you in a moment how easy it is to get the device configured. Architecture is x86 64-bit, KVM is required, which means that if you're using a Windows computer or a Mac, you need to be using the GNS3 VM and KVM support needs to be enabled. In other words, you need to support nested virtualization. I'm gonna click next. Once again, you need to run this appliance on the GNS3 VM if you're using Windows or a Mac. I'm doing that, so I'm gonna click next. I'm told that the server requirements are okay, so I'm gonna click next. Now I am missing files. I need this QCOW2 file to run the appliance. So I'm gonna select the file and click download. I'm taken to sourceforge.net and the file is automatically downloaded to my local computer. So now you simply need to wait for that file to download. It's 436 meg in size. So be warned that the file size is fairly large. And again, you simply need to wait for that file to download. Now a note in GNS3, the file is compressed with bzip2. So you need to uncompress it before you use it. So notice this is a QCOW2 file, but it's a compressed file. Once again, it's 436 meg in size. So I'm gonna open the file and uncompress it. I'll uncompress it to a folder called FRR and then extract the file. So if you're using Windows, 
use WinZip or some other software to unzip the file. As you can see, the file is being extracted. You need to wait for that to complete and then click OK and click Refresh. GNS3 will then search for the files. If it doesn't find it, like it's not finding it here, click Import and browse to where you've got the file and click Open. The file is then uploaded to the GNS3 VM. Notice it's 1.6 gig uncompressed. So again, it's a large file. Okay, so I'm told that it's ready to be installed. So I can click Next. I'm asked, would I like to install this appliance? The answer is yes. You can change QMU settings. I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna leave them at the defaults and click Next. We told that this appliance has eight adapters, uses 256 meg of RAM, requires an x86 64-bit architecture, and KVM is required. Console type is Telnet, which makes it really easy to configure. Click Next. Now you may want to take a note of these details. Credentials are FRR, FRR, so username, password. Notice if you end up back in the Unix console, you can use a VTYSH to go back to the Cisco-ish type console. I'm gonna click Finish. Appliance is now installed. Notice it's shown as an available appliance. So when you do this installation and you search for FRR under Available Appliances, you can simply drag this appliance to the workspace if it displays. I'm not gonna do that because I downloaded the appliance. So I'm gonna to go to Installed Appliances and I'm gonna drag this appliance to the workspace.